All right, now to the battle for so many Michiganders to get the unemployment benefits for which they have been waiting. Uh, well, check out this video here. We shot it today. This is at the unemployment office in Sterling Heights. F filers showing up, trying to find out and get answers, and then they find the office is still shut down. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is working to try to get some answers. I know so many of you are still dealing with big problems with the Michigan Unemployment Insurance Agency, and many have been coming to this location here in Sterling Heights. They figured the Secretary of State is open. They learned online that this branch would be open today, but as you can see, it remains closed. To say people are upset is an understatement. Incredibly frustrating. They don't seem to be open and I have no understanding why. Some drove a long way hoping to finally talk with a real person here at the Michigan Unemployment Insurance Agency office in Sterling Heights. They saw online this office was allegedly open today and we've seen a steady stream of people all disappointed to learn the office remains closed. It's very frustrating and I drove 40 minutes or so to get here. And check this out. The sign on the front door, coronavirus, even spelled incorrectly. But there is some good news in all of this. Thousands who've had their benefits locked as fraud investigations got underway about a month ago. Learning that lock has been lifted. The money will start flowing again. But there are still more than 100,000 people still in limbo and still waiting. And then it says you can try and make an appointment, but there's you can't speak to a human. So uh, this morning when I woke up, I called 67 times um, and I, I don't know, I'm, I'm close to giving up, but I don't know what else to do. She called 67 times and I've heard that from so many people still having trouble trying to call into the phone number. The good news is that the website hasn't really been experiencing any big problems that people have still had success online, uh, but it's uh, unclear as to when those offices are actually going to start opening, allowing people to have communication uh, with employees from UIA. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, help me hang. Yeah, and Hank, at this point, do they have any idea? When do they think that the identity issues are going to be cleared up once and for all? And Sandra, the good news on that front, as you heard, is that they have cleared up at least half of those cases. They are making a lot of progress, but it could take several more weeks for all of those issues to be sorted out. Yeah, a lot Back of kinks to, to work out.